All right, so a few weeks ago, I released this video called How I Got the Speedrun World Record in Bee Swarm Simulator. And it was pretty cool. It was a 53 minutes and 15 seconds run. I was very proud of myself. But then not even two days after that video comes out, a YouTuber by the name of Skyception releases a video where they get a significantly faster runtime than me. And they weren't even doing the 25B zone run. They were doing a star sign run, which means they also spent several minutes in their run working on Mother Bear's quest line so that they could get the star egg to give to the sticker printer. And they still beat my run time by over half an hour. Not only that, but they also got more views on their video than I got on mine, which makes me very sad. But I wasn't gonna just let Skyception take this run away from me. And so this is the story of how I was able to take back the Bee Swarm Simulator speedrun world record. Also, before we get into the actual content of this video, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for an 800 Robux code in my Discord server. Link in the description. If you want to enter, then all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and send proof that you have done so in the giveaway entry channel of my Discord server. This giveaway will end exactly one week after the video comes out, so make sure you have at mentions turned on in my Discord server because I'm going to at everyone when I roll the winners. Good luck to everyone who decides to participate and let's get back into the video. Alright, so after Skyception uploaded his run to YouTube, I watched the video and then watched it like four more times because I wanted to get a good look at Sky's run to see what I could take from it and use to improve my own runtime. And the main thing I realized was that Sky didn't actually use any meteors. You see, in my run, my main method of making honey so I could progress through the run was getting the troops to summon meteor showers. But in Skyception's run, he didn't use a single meteor shower. Instead, he relied solely on boost codes, which made me a bit confused because when I did my run, boost codes only really seemed to be viable in the early end of the run and fell off later on. But when I was watching Skyception's run, I saw that he used the codes differently to the way I used them, which caused him to make significantly more honey from them. So I knew I needed to make sure I used the right codes at the right points in the run. But there was a problem. I didn't know what codes I needed to use and at what points in the run I needed to use them. So I had a genius idea. Message Skyception on Discord asking for help. And then this man proceeds to write a grade 9 GCSE English 80 marker answer on exactly what I'm supposed to do all throughout the run. Bad news, I spent over an hour analyzing his run for nothing. Good news, I now know all that I need to know to take back my world record. So after talking with Sky and Discord a bit more, I knew it was time to assemble the troops. So we got all the troops in a voice call, explained the plan to them, and then proceeded to attempt the speed run. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. We did sh** on the first attempt. But the first attempt was simply done so we could get some experience with the new run strategy. So we only got a time of about 24 minutes. Which to be fair was a lot better than my 53 minutes and 15 seconds time back in the first video. But it doesn't quite break the world record. So me and the troops kept pushing on. And in my second attempt, I was able to get a time of about 20 minutes, breaking my previous PB by 4 minutes. Also, just real quick, in the last video, a lot of people were asking if they could join the troops. Yes. Yes, you can. Just go into the Reaction Roles channel in my Discord and claim the helper role. Everyone who has the helper role counts as one of the troops and will get pinged whenever I need troops. Yeah. That's how you join the troops. Then I had a few attempts when none of the troops were available, but luckily Sky came in to help me take his record back. Wait, what? Yeah, Sky said he just felt like helping out, which I was completely okay with. I'm pretty sure I did two runs with Skyception. One was pretty okay. I think I matched my time of 20 minutes. But on the second run, I had a very good pace for world record, starting the pine tree farming segment at 14 minutes in. But then RNG screwed me over. You see, the run has four stages. The dandelion field boost stage, the pineapple field boost stage, the pine tree forest boost stage, 
and the run to the 25 B zone like your life depends on it stage. Before the four stages, you need to make sure you're in the B Swarm Simulator Roblox group, and then you need to enter a list of codes into your code console. The list will be available in the description for those who want to attempt the run for themselves. And after you've entered those codes, you want to go into the shop, get the backpack, magnet and boots then you want to use a marshmallow bee code wink code Shaw, and start boosting in the dandelion field with gumdrops and microconverters as soon as you get 22.5k honey you want to go back to the shop and get the maxed backpack then go back to the boost and keep boosting until you get 170k honey buy 10 eggs hatch them and grind for 175k more honey. Once you've done all of this, you have moved on to the pineapple patch boost stage. First thing you wanna do is use the royal jelly dispenser for speed. Then you want to make your way up to the 10B zone, get the mega jug and pulsar using the extra 175k you've grinded up and start farming in the pineapple patch using gumdrops, microconverters, and one cloud vial. You should have a bunch of pineapple boost stuff from the codes at the start of the run, and if you don't, you've messed something up, buster. Anyways, keep farming in pineapple until you get 1.5 million honey. Get the honey dipper, while making sure to get the treat dispenser on the way for a little speed. Time efficiency is everything, lads. And go back to the pineapple patch until you get 1.1 mil. As soon as you hit 1.1 mil honey, reset. You are now on the pine tree forest boost stage which is where the rng dependency kicks in get five more eggs and hatch them get the royal jelly dispenser for speed make your way up to the pine tree forest put the code 1m likes into your code console and have the code 10m members copied you then need to wait until a festive b ability activates which can either take two seconds or five years depending on your RNG. This dependency on good RNG for the run was the reason that my run with a really good pace up until the pine tree forest ended up taking over 25 minutes. But anyway, when the festive ability finally spawns, use a cloud vial, and then you want to use both the codes you have prepared along with the code 500 mil. You then want to copy the code 6 Earth Day, which expires at the end of March 2024. So if you're watching this in the future, I'm sorry, lads. Pick up the neon green festive tokens. I forgot Nam. My script writing is on another level. And instantly use the code. If you've done all this correctly, you should make well over 50 million honey in the span of a few seconds. If you have successfully made over 50 million from the boost, whirl a gig back to your hive, buy 10 eggs, and put them all into your hive. If you made somewhere from 40 million to 50 million, run into the wolf's cave to get the free gold egg, whirl a gig back to your hive, buy 9 eggs, and put them in into your hive along with the gold egg from wolf's cave if you have made under 40 mil but are close to 40 mil run through all of your remaining micro converters boosting the pine tree forest to get to the 40 to 50 mil range then complete the steps talked about for the 40 to 50 mil range if you have made under 40 mil and you are not close to 40 mil restart the run you're selling after completing your pine tree boost and acquiring 25 bees you have now entered the run to the 25B zone like your life depends on its stage. I know this might sound a bit shocking for some of you, but in this stage, you need to run to the 25B zone like your life depends on it. Make sure you get the royal jelly dispenser for the third and final time before you start running your way up the mountain. Because the run ends when you make it to the 25B zone, so you want to take as much speed as you can get your hands on, lads. And yeah, that's the speed run strategy. Anyway, a few days later, on Saturday the 23rd of March 2024, I decided to recall the truth for some more run attempts. I would also just like to quickly point out that before we did these run attempts, there was an event in Pokemon Go. Yes, I play Pokemon Go. Look at my Shundo Origin Palkia. The event was a primal ground on raid day, so I was out for about four hours grinding that before the runs. To all the Pokemon Go players watching this, I got a grand total of 10 Groudons with one of them shiny and no Hondos. My mate I was raiding with got a Hondo though. Anyways, back on topic, me and my Mandem did a total of two run attempts. The former not being very eventful, we had a pretty bad pace and didn't get good RNG on the pine tree boost stage. But the second run, let's just say, was pretty interesting. Alright, so we started the run, started using all of the codes, went into the dandelion field boost stage, and we were just demolishing this crazy efficiency and everything. We then moved on to the pineapple boost stage and once again demolishing everything crazy efficiency and we were very fast with our transition into the pine tree forest and here in the pine tree forest like we're going crazy. 
we ended up getting the festive token extremely early, but were only able to get like 40 mil. So we went into the wolf's cave, got the gold egg, and it started filling up our hive with 25 bees. Started making our way up the mountain. And then this was the point in the run where we finally took back the world record. So in the end, we got a time of 11 minutes and 25 seconds, absolutely smashing Sky's run. So you already know what I had to do. I hopped in a Discord call with Skyception to show him that I had taken back the world record and also flex on him. Yo, Sky, guess what? What? I got an 11 minutes and 25 seconds run. I took back the record, bud, pal. Buster, what do you have to say about that? I have a video that's uh, like a faster time. What? What time? Like six minutes. What?